There you go. This, this is why I moved here. Not for all these mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are back. Yeah, yay. I mean, look at this. This is on my doorstep. So I thought I'd come and head out here and have breakfast outside with the mosquitoes. Maybe share a little bit with them. And obviously I've got some things to discuss as you can tell by the title of the video. You know, things happen, don't they? And it's how we react to them. So I'm gonna go through all those things. By the way, this is the first time in a long time that I've ever done anything like this, like using one of these. So it's a little bit of a learning process or this experiment. Ugh. Gosh, gas is coming out. I guess that's a good thing because that's what I need for to warm up and make some nice morning tea. So this, now what do I do? I guess I light it, right? And whilst that's boiling away, yeah, so uh, I've had really good build up recently with running and since the turn of the year and having COVID that took a little bit out of me. I'm sure many of you have had similar experiences and yeah, so just recently I got like a really good groove going. I, you know, built back up really slowly. If you look on my Strava, it was like 30, 40, 50, building up the ladder. And then we got up to around like 80 to 90 kilometer, 100 kilometer weeks. And the last four weeks I did four 100, just under 100 kilometer weeks with some like harder sessions and stuff like that, long runs. The thing about it at that time was everything was feeling good. Not obviously every runner's body, you know, when you're an athlete per se, there's always some tiredness and achiness. But on top of doing stuff like an incremental, like 10% increase, let's say, you should also be doing stuff in blocks. And that's what I did, you know. It takes a long time at the beginning, and you're probably like, oh, I just want to do more, I just want to do more. And that's a sign that you are doing things correctly, that you want to do more, and that you're not like, oh my God, this has absolutely killed me. So as a result of doing things correctly, you kind of feel good and you want to do more. And that's the state I was in 100 kilometers every week yeah it's not astronomical to some people but it felt good to be back in that space in that zone and also you know being doing some like harder runs some longer runs some intensity and yeah it felt really good I did also bring some porridge with me because yeah enjoying having that and it is breakfast time so today uh, if you want to see, I've got some porridge oats, some nuts, seeds, bananas, blueberries, some dried apples, cinnamon and ginger, and it's, yeah, I'm really enjoying having porridge at the moment. Even though we're getting into the warmer months, you'd think I'd be wanting, craving more, you know, like fresher, more refreshing stuff, but yeah, it keeps me fueled and I don't need an, a reason to like porridge, really. Is there, do you need a reason for everything? Probably not. Okay, the water is ready. Just don't spill it now, I guess. That's one thing. And I brought some, I guess I could make a Moroccan mint tea. So I got some fresh leaves. If you really wanted to see, you probably can't even see it anyway. Just empty the cup from all that. Some fresh mint leaves in there. No ants, sorry. A little bit of sugar and then some nice warm water. So we're just gonna let that brew, I guess, for a little bit. Ha, oh, I've been bitten there by a mosquito. It's gonna swell up. I'm not so good with mosquito bites. I get maybe allergic reaction to them or something, but 
Wow, if only you could smell that. It smells so good. I love the smell of mint and love the taste of mint. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. I want to discuss like what has happened here. And my running, yeah, it stopped. I've not been running for five days now and wow, that feels like an eternity to me. You know, after running every day for probably like a month or something and you know, my plan isn't to do one of these running every day things. I'm just, you know, doing a running training kind of program. And so after my latest long run that I did, where I did actually a really nice session, 24 kilometers and first half, like 12, 10 kilometers, nice and easy. Then when I kind of hit some rolling gravel hills, I picked it up a little bit and then for the final eight kilometers I did it at kind of like a goal marathon pace which is around 355 per kilometer and the whole run it felt really really good but there's one thing with this run that I failed to do correctly and I've been having this blister on my big toe for the last two weeks or so and I've been you know looking after it pretty well and it's pretty good but on this long run I previous day it had burst a little bit and I failed to cover it up and I well I don't think I know because I've been to the doctors and everything actually my toe got infected as a result of that and that's you know like it got really sensitive really painful to walk on and well yet alone walking is hard so running is probably out of the question and probably not advisable as well it gave me like a fever as well temperature and I got completely drained the funny thing is you know no sniffling nose no cough no hard breathing whatever it was it was you know purely the fact that my toe got an infection luckily just a very small local one and it didn't spread very far but uh, as a result of that kind of poor judgment and you know not taking care of myself I fell into that situation obviously here I've learned a lesson and you know I guess the whole part of me having a YouTube channel is also to share what goes on in my life but also to maybe try and help someone out there so you know there could be lessons in here for you as well not just for me also on top of that I had something I don't know what was going on but some like swelling in the groin area and then to top it all off to top it off the cherry on the cake although I like cherries and I'm, I like cake so I don't know why you say it like that the doctor told me to use this antibiotic cream on the affected area where the blister was I used that and I think I got an allergic reaction to it or that it just burnt almost like like a burn feeling on the skin area so yeah, it's been a little bit of a challenging uh, week, let's say it like that. Yes, but I'm far from, you know, ruining that this is like a bad situation. Things like this happen in running. Uh, we're not always just going to have plain sailing. And it's the same with life, isn't it? It's really important to understand that these things are there for us to, you know, improve upon and that's you know how i've chose to see it and it's it's real simple thing here for me like a blister and everything but the management of those little things you know well look where it's led me but soon enough i'm going to be running again because you know everything is feeling good now and there's no point when you've already had like four days off of running to then rush back into things so then only on the fifth day you know you you went one step too soon there is this one thing that i sort of like go by is you know when you've been ill and then the day when you feel like fully better still take that one extra day so one day extra that is really going to help a little bit more and that's exactly where we are right now i'm going to take this one day extra today and tomorrow we'll go for a little bit of a test run maybe three four kilometers only and see how the body reacts after that run those hours after and if everything's feeling good in those hours after we can hit the train and you know find a new station I don't know what analogy that was. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about, that we can uh, hit the ground running once again. So yes, that is what's been going on with me. And I just wanted to bring it to the channel, you know, I want to bring everything and show like the, the, the challenges that come with running. It's not all just about the challenge of running harder all the time. Quite a lot of the time it can be about, you know, figuring things out. That's also a reason why we haven't seen so many videos on this YouTube channel. I've been, a little bit disappointed in myself I have to say that I haven't got a regular rhythm with YouTube at the moment but at the same time I don't want to bring pointless content yeah it's a uh, something I'm trying to figure out a little bit more I want to be able I, w I do really want to be doing more and 
I will be bringing more, don't worry. I've you know, got some good training plans coming up, got some races I've already signed up for, but we can save that for another video. If you've got any comments or questions, then feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below. I really enjoy and love interacting and hearing about, you know, all of you, what if you've been eating Marmite, where you live, how your running is going, all those things, all the good stuff. It's, it's just fun to interact with. But thank you very much. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'm sure you are. Uh, I really do appreciate you watching it. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and we'll see you in the next video.